It's been a long time coming from the SC Sakalana, baby. Sometimes it feels like the world is against me. Cause I'm coming from SC. From heartache and pain, struggle and strain. Trying to maintain for the SC. So, mama, don't worry. Hey, I'ma make my dreams happen. Word definition of the day flash cure. Gel is partially cured by putting it under a UV or LED light for 5 to 10 seconds. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to the Nail Genie SC. How are you? I hope you are well and your family is doing well. Do me a favor, if this is your first time to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you've been here with me for a while, would you please hit that like button for me? And let's get into today's video. All right, so guys, in today's video, we are continuing with our nail art mini series. And today I am going to be showing you the basket weaving nails. At one point this was a trending nail uh, topic or nail subject that was going around on the internet. But it has um, now um, just sporadically it shows up from time to time. So I wanted to show you guys uh, how I achieve the look. So I wanted to... Um, start off by uh, putting the dots on the nail so for this nail guys you're going to find that I had to put this nail to the side because I'm starting out um, wrong <laughs> so um, with this trend you can do your basket weave nails in different uh, directions and many different ways okay we are going to use the blue nail, but we're going to put it to the side because I actually started the nail wrong. So when you are starting these uh, basket weave nails, you want to create um, four sections, if that makes sense. And I'm going to show you on the red nail. Um, I think this is actually pink, but it looks red on the camera. So I chose a blue, pink, and a yellow background. I was going to do all three nails as a basket weave nail, but this nail art is a very tedious nail art trend, guys. It takes lots of patience, um, and it is a lot of detail in this nail art trend. So you really want to make sure that uh, when you're doing it, you have the time to do it. And you want, if you're doing it on a client, you want to let them know um, the time it takes to do this nail art. Okay. So we are going to, I'm going to start off by tr starting the nail thinking that, okay, I have all of my dots where I want them to go. But when I finally started putting the lines here, I realized, wait, I'm missing a row. So I was missing a row of dots. And that's what I said. You need your four sections. But I'm still going to show you guys how I was able to achieve the look on this nail. I just had, my brain wasn't processing at the moment. And I just had to stop and put it to the side. Now, sometimes with nail art, guys, you'll find where you will have to stop. You may have start on the canvas and uh, you just, it's not coming together for you, right? So you just have to stop and put it to the side. Not necessarily meaning I have to scrap the whole canvas. It's just mean that I need to, my brain to process what it is I want to do, right? So it's nothing wrong with stopping, putting the nail to the side and starting something fresh and new and coming back to that nail okay um that's what makes a great artist sometimes you have to stop and get your thoughts together in order to create great work 
Okay, so here I already had put the dots on the nail. So as you can see, there are four sections of the dots. Now, when you're placing the dots down, you want the dots to be even across the nail. Okay, and so starting the line work. And you definitely want to make sure when you do your dots, you cure the dots. So as you can see, I did three dots on the blue nail, three columns, three columns of dots on the blue nail. But I end up doing four columns on this pink, pinkish red nail. Okay, so that is what you want to start your original basket weaving and learning how to do this nail art. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the line work. So with the line work, you're going um, in and out. So if you know what in and out means, it means you're going to take the line and you're going to slightly curve your line in, okay, from starting point to the dot, right? And then from the dot to the next dot, you want to go out. So it's not like a big out, it's just a slight curve. So you're going in and out. And that's how you process your mind to tell you how to do this nail art trend. It's in and out, in and out. So you want to have a starting point for the nails. And as you see, guys, I didn't like those lines. So I'm just wiping those lines away. I'm going to let the nail dry for a second. And then I'm going to start again. So it's nothing wrong. I'm leaving all of these things in the video. So you guys can see that it does not come easy, right? It does not even come easy to someone who's done it time and time again. Because this nail art trend, the first time I tried it was last year. And I don't know if I've done it between then and now. But um, I have seen it done on several of... Uh, platforms. I've also seen it done on my Good Sis Isms by Josie's channel. She just did a set, a full set on her nails and so beautiful. Turned out amazing. Um, but yeah, this nail art trend is something you have to process the mind to remember how to do it. Sometimes I have to go back and watch or go back and look at my old nails to see can I remember the pattern? And I actually have the pattern in front of me in my little black nail art book. So, um, yeah, sometimes you have to. It's not like riding a bike on everything. You don't, it's not, it's, it's like riding a bike once you get started. But the initial process is not like riding a bike. So you want to go uh, in and out. And now I froze what I like. And that goes back to the definition, word definition of the day, flash cure. So I flash cured in the light, where I, the lines that I like. And then I'm going to continue on creating my lines. So as you can see, I'm just going straight down the center of the nail. Because I don't want to worry about what's going on on the outside of my nail until I get the base of what I want to start. So you have to have a starting point, guys, when you're doing this nail art because this is the only way you're going to be able to create the rest of the nail art based off of this one section of your nail art when it comes to the basket weaving. So it's in and out, in and out, in and and out connecting your lines to your dots if that makes sense so you want to connect the lines to the dots on the nail art to create the first outline of what your basket nail is going to look like okay so now you want to flash cure that in the light as well and now as when it comes out of the light you want to go ahead and try either section. Now, I'm starting on the section further um, to my right, okay? So, I'm going to go in, and then I'm going to go back up and connect a line using an imaginary dot that should be there, right? And then I'm going to go and finish connecting the lines. So when you've already created the first base, 
then doing the rest of the nail is going to come easy because you're going to follow the guide, the marker of what you've already created. Okay, so as you see, I'm just following the guide of the lines that already was created. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to go to the left side and do the same thing with this one. So now I have a line that's going in, so I want to connect it in. And then I'm going to take that outer line and create a line using my imaginary dot where the dot should be. So now I'm going to go out because the line across from me is out. And then I'm going to go in because the line across from that line is in. So if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm making sense, guys. I'm just trying to make it make sense. I hope it's helping you by keeping this in real time. And you can kind of see it, visually see it. For those that may be visual learners, this may be um, the uh, great way of showing you step by step on how to create this specific nail art for those of you that listen by instruction i hope i'm helping you some kind of way so the yellow uh, nail i wanted to create another basket weave nail but guys like i said this nail art can be so tedious and by the time i did the two nails i was getting a little tired and so i just said well let me just create another nail that i could put in the center so i'm just going to create the weaving part of the basket on the top so you know that when you grab a basket on top you have a weaved part of the basket that's kind of go in and out in and out in and out like figure eights and so that's all i'm going to do on this nail creating that on this yellow nail and i'm just doing figure eights all the way down the nail now, I'm going to tell you where I didn't, I start not to like this nail. Now, I love the nail now that I'm starting it, but I'm going to tell you guys in a minute where I just figured I should have just stopped while I was ahead of the game, but I didn't. <laughs> so, we always, sometimes I, you know, less is more. Less is more, guys. Less is more in nail art. Less is more, okay? So now I'm going in and I'm going to start connecting, creating that basket part of where you find that basket weaving part, that illusion of a weaving part of the nail. Now I'm going to start creating that. So I'm just going in, as you see, guys, and I am connecting. And when you're going in the connecting part of that, you want to use those dots as your markers and you want to go in. Uh, under and over, under and over, under and over. And then on the opposite side, you're going to do over, then under, over, then under. Okay, so I hope that helps you. Um, you just want to make it opposite of what it already is. And then that look going to start to come together. Now, this look gives you the base of what a basket weave nail will look like. But what, you're going to have to add a few more details in order to bring it to life. Um, so, we, I'll be showing you guys those details here in a few minutes. So, you want to go over and under. Over and under. over and then under okay and now that you like your placement and how the nail turn out you want to go ahead and pop it in the light and as i'm saying here you're going to need a little bit more detailing in this nail art in order for the look to come be complete now there are going to be one thing guys that i did forget to do on both nails and i'll tell you guys that um close to the end okay so here i'm going in and i'm just creating more links on this uh nail more um more figure eights on this nail and it's starting to get a little sloppy to me because I'm getting a little exhausted in my nail art. And so, as you can see, I'm going to go in and I'm going to uh, clean up um, some areas that I messed up on. And I'm going to fix um, that first link 
that I use to connect um, that uh, basket weave um, top portion or the weave, weaved look top portion. So here I'm just going and I'm going to fix it um, just with some um, simple um, line work. Now, once I finish this last loop-to-loop -loop figure eight situation here, I should have stopped. That should have been it for me, but I couldn't let it go. So now I'm starting not to like the nail, okay? But I just went ahead with it because it's nail art, and I'm just, it's really not about this nail. This nail's just a uh, uh, fill in, as you can say, um, to create in a look. Um, but it's really just about the basket weave part of the nail learning how to do the basket weave nail trend nail art okay so um yeah i didn't like it but yeah i stayed with it all right so i'm going to start now on this blue nail that i started with now i have figured out how i want to do it so i'm going to actually do it going down the center but it's it's almost like creating the basket weave from side to side now you're going to see i'm going to make a few mistakes here before i get it and you're going to see me erasing um or you're going to see me removing some lines and starting again in certain areas and it just got to the place where I was like, I, I don't know how much I like this. But I had to continue with it and trust the process. So, always just follow through. Continue with it. Trust the process. And remember with nail art, it's not set in stone until you cure it. So, you know, take your time. Look over it. You know, do what you want to do. You know, start again if you feel you must. But it's not set um, in, I could say, when, what I want to say, it's not set on the nail until you actually cure it. Cure the line work to the nail and all of that stuff. So here I'm just going in and I'm creating that in and out, in and out, all the way down the nail. Um, it's almost like I'm turning the nail to the side because I'm using it as that's my guide to create this look because it's almost like a instead of it going up and down it's going side to side okay if that makes sense so i'm just going ahead and creating those lines here as you see and i i'm just looking at the nail I keep looking at the nail trying to figure out okay where am i missing something what do else do i need to do in order to make this uh work um, the way I need it to work. Um, I'm missing something. So I turn the nail and I go ahead and create those markers for the nail art here. But for some reason, when I'm looking back at it now, I'm like, I didn't do something right here. I, I just can't remember what it is, but something is not right. Um, but I'm going to continue with it. Um, I'm going to continue and, and follow through because I could not figure out what it was, just if that makes sense to you guys. I just could not at the moment figure out what it is that I did not like about that portion of the nail. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in the light. And I'm going to go back to this nail, which I should have left this nail exactly how it was. And now I'm going to show you guys where I started to not like the nail. So here I'm just going in thinking I can add more basket weaving links on the nail just to fill in some of those spaces. But I should have just left the nail alone. Um, but, you know, it is. It's a learning process. It's something you learn from and you know, okay, well, if I did create this set and I like this look, I'll try it a different way and I won't do this extra, all of this extraness. <laughs> <laughs> if that makes sense. All right, guys, I'm going to let you watch me uh, crap this nail up. <laughs> and I just want to say thank you all for the support to my channel. I truly appreciate you all very much. If you are here and have not subscribed, 
go ahead if you would and hit that subscribe button for me. I would love to have you a part of my YouTube family as well as my YouTube journey. And I hope you hope guys that this mini nail art series for the fall and Halloween season is helping you uh, get into your creative flow side. Um, it'll do me a um, great deal to know that some of you at least tried to do something that you've learned on my channel. Just trying it and saying, hey, I think I can do this. Now, as you see, I'm going in and I'm like, okay, this is all wrong because it's not even looking right. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to uh, clean that up because I know that's not right, right? Um, so I have to look at the nail. I have to um, figure out um, where my placement's supposed to be. And because of the dots are so far apart, um, it just didn't look right for me. But I'm going to get it together and I'm going to figure it out. And I'm going to get this uh, artwork flowing um, the way it's supposed to flow. So, yeah, just have to trust the process, guys. Sometimes it is a process. Sometimes you're just using what you got. I could have scrapped this nail all together and started new with another base. But I just like, let me see if I can make it work. If I can do something with this. Um, I liked when I first initially tried this trend. I love how the um, nails work. I think they look different on any type of nail. It never looks the same. Um, the first time I tried this trend, I tried it on oval, uh, or not oval, but almond shaped nails. And I thought it came out so beautifully. And I think the smaller the canvas, the better the work, I think. The longer or longest the canvas is, the narrow the work becomes. So, you know, it's just up to you. Totally up to you. But um, I liked it better on a um, almond shape design or shorter surface um, because it really drawed in the detail. But these turned out beautifully on its own. So, you know, just had to figure it out. Had to get it right. So here I'm just going in and I'm creating that basket part of the nails. And it's not going to take me as long um, because it's not, it's a lot of space here on the nail because of the dot placement. So, um, yeah, we're just going to go in and finish that out. And then we're going to go in with some, the next step to both these basket weave nails that really will accent the look and give you a great, um, give you the nail art effect that you're going for. Okay. So I'm going to go in and I'm looking at the nail and I'm going to go ahead and cure the nail. Um, I'm like, okay, that'll work. Okay. So let's put that in the light. Let's cure it. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to add some base gel to my palette here. And I'm going to just mix it with this black because I want to create a translucent black that will allow me to add shading to these basket weave nails. So the shading part of this basket weave nail, the white accent lines on this basket weave nail. And also it's one thing I forgot to do guys that I realized once I was complete is darkening up my dots. So when you are doing this look and you want to um, really make the nail art pop, you want to go back in with your dotting tool and go in the dotting section and add just a little bit more black in that section just to kind of widen, widen those dots and darken them up before going in with the shading. So that's the part I missed and I failed to do. But I still think the nails came out pretty good. But if I had did that, you could see it better. It would give more definition and more detail to the nail art. Um, so, yeah. I have to remember that when I try it again. Not to forget that most important step. So, here I'm just going in. And I'm just finding various areas on this basket weave look that I want to do some shading at. And that shading is going to just give it more, like I said, definition. Uh, give it more of the illusion of a basket uh, weave nail 
And yeah, those are the details that you don't want to uh, slip by because, you know, the look is pretty all on its own. But once you start adding those little small details and um, shading and the, you know, the at, the accent of the dots and the white lines, then it really just come to life. The nail art really come to life. So I'm going to let you guys continue to watch me do this. There's nothing else I need to say here. Um, I'm going to let you all finish out the video with some music and I hope you guys have enjoyed the today's video for this nail art mini series for basket weave nail and I hope you all will give it a try. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Follow me over on all of my socials at the Nail Genie SC. And guys, we are on the road to 1K, one subscriber at a time. So guys, I will come back with my final goodbyes, but I just want to thank you all again for watching.
so this is the final look i hope you guys have enjoyed i want to thank you all for watching and i will see you all in my next video until then you already know what time it is the deuces are flying in the air poof the nail genie she's out